I wanted the BMW. <laughs> Got stooged by Europe car. No more business in Europe car. I used to always use Europe car because I used to like. I always, always get ranges from them when we go to New Zealand. They're always pretty good, but no, nah, dead to me now. Budget all the way. What was the guy's name? Jeremy. Jeremy from Budget. Got us this rad little Renault. What is it? Renault. The Renault Capture. Renault Capture. It's yeah. captured my imagination of how to navigate Sydney without a working navigation system. Because I don't have Android. Because I'm an iPhone user. One of 28 percent of the population. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's a 1.3 turbo. We're going to put the uh, data logger on it later and see what it does at Sydney Dragway. Um, no, no, no. I'm just going to drive it nice. Insert turbo noises here. Um, going to North Epping to see uh, Tony now and uh, look at fire servicing and all that sort of stuff. Grab some radios for tomorrow and then we're going to work on the race car. Um, and then go all the way back to the other side of Sydney to the racetrack with the race car and do race car things. So, no, yeah, cool. Oh, what have I been doing? Stickers everywhere, sticker all the things. Uh, rear car looks really, really good. So Sam's done an uh, awesome job getting it ready for us. It's clean, it's got tires on it, it's got new brakes on the back, got new brake lines in it. Fluids are done, wheel alignment's done. Um, Big Tony, um, hooked this up with a radio kit, so just put a radio in it. Um, good to go, ready to send it. Should we put the sender console back in? Oh yeah, we should probably do good that. Good rock and roll. Yeah. Fix that harness up and yeah, send it. We'll get back in the rental car of doom, get lost again, <laughs> find something to eat. And then we're gonna go tonight and I'm gonna eat the biggest bowl of like, something that an athlete should eat and uh, be into a good night. City Motorsport Park. Woo! This place is awesome. We're just gonna go and unload. Check out the car, chop the car back. We're gonna park it over here. Since I was here last, I got all these rad electronic billboards everywhere. Kind of a bit flash. Like Damo, look at his haircut. He's so beautiful. <laughs> And look, there's a tunnel. Kind of like the Collie Tunnel, but I can actually fit under it. Some flags. Gosh, I hate it with the lawnmower man here. There's cars everywhere. Sports sedans, rad. Let's go. Do -do -do -do. Do -do -do. Do -do. Parking. Hey buddy, just going to drop the radio gear off at 36 and then drop the car back. Thank you. Thanks buddy. Thank you. Cheers. Yeah. M3 for Chris. Oh, it's the edge. Hi right, guys. It's a bit full on. Another E36 M3. That's my truck. Just wow, it's a bit awesome. We're just a little fish, they're not even open yet. dark inside there but you know AGI roll cage wing seat got the radio gear set up um, isolate all the things good to go so just over here living the dream so like all my cars DC autos on the bonnet 
Big Lux on the side. These are our category sponsors. So we've got MCA, uh, Oxsafe, SEQL, uh, Circo, RX8 Cup. What are the guys in Western Master? I think it's Western Master. Yeah, Western Master and Nanking. They're all the, the category sponsors, which is really, really cool to have uh, so many sponsors on the category. Obviously, Chris from Culture over home for me. Um, yeah, so it's pretty sweet and good to, good to go. Engine in this one feels strong. Hopefully, we have no dramas. Uh, oh, I forgot, Speedy Wheels. They're also category sponsors, so. Love the colour. We've got um, smart loading guys. Sam also looks after these guys' cars. They're both really smart cars. The orange on this is cool, especially the wicked orange page. It looks really, really rad. So we've got these guys are sharing with. They hooked us up with the map for the weekend, which is really probably there. Um, this car here is an amazing colour. It's like a turquoise. It doesn't kind of show up on the. But all the cars, just one thing you notice, every single car, like mine's a, a nugget of the. Of the category, these things are all really, really well turned out. So, not pumped. All right, um, it's go day at Sydney Motorsport Park today. Um, had practice yesterday. Car was car was good. Um, you know, it's, it's not a not not a well, not the rocket ship of the series, but um, car was really, really good. I was really, really average, so I'm not really. Um, my fourth lap of the day, funnily enough, was my fastest lap, and then I was just way off after that. I'm sort of like driving each corner and being too tight and just not looking up and out and letting the car flow. I'm so worried about the corner. So I've really just got to let it go and drive. Tim was awesome helping me out. Damo's been, been awesome. He, he's had, had a coffee, so he looks half human. But this is our, this is the Pepe with Shinra all the Escort guys, so. Um, cars in the series are all, you know, like every single car is super, super nice. They all look wicked. So give me a tour. Let's see how we go. So Donna, she's got a little kitchen set up over here. Feeds and waters everyone. Cars, tool station. We'll have a couple of screens up. And Sam gets in the timing and we replay the videos and watch what's going on. Everything's super, super organised. Um, you know, the markings on the ground, just so we can get ready. This car's due for an audit, so we've got it up in here waiting for the scrutineers. Um, but other than that, good to go. The track is mega, and the weather is fantastic. Like, check this out. really got to get better at uh, figuring it out and just draw it, letting the car go. Still not flat on turn one yet, um, but we'll get there. But this place is like, absolutely mega. Bad start. This was the first race, my first race in RSA. First race start in RSA. So I didn't get a bad start. I just wasn't quite that quick enough to find any sort of I just left it in third gear on the limit and not thinking to change gear. And you see the pack that jumped for me, but I was fairly strongish under brakes. Um, never worried too much. The brakes really good on these, so having a chance to get a good a bit of a run up here and pass for you guys. So uh, I won't talk over all this. I won't try to say I know how. Going around SCT because my lines were terrible. Um, I don't know how to put up with me all through practice. Uh, I tried really, really, really hard. Uh, and really not flying the car. That's what the look up sticker on the dash is about. I was so busy worried about the corner that I was in rather than looking to get to the exit and, and how to get to the next corner that I was just losing seconds and seconds. And it was only really towards the end of the day where I got this ride and by the time I ran out of tires. And, and uh, I was tired. Enjoy the ride, I've got a couple of snippets from this race, and then we roll into race two, uh, where I had a terrible start, uh, but still managed to pick up a couple of spots, and then race three, had everything go for me, and then um, started to have the dreaded uh, solenoid failure on the intake manifold, but uh, here we get there, and, and really enjoy. 
it, so yeah, I won't do my normal talk over of how to drive um, because I'm just garbage at SMP. Um, side drafting is a thing, that's all I'll say. Side drafting is quick.
like it had a uh, heaps of legs on its really quick and straight line, but I just didn't have it around the back. Just got so much more to learn in these cars, so, but it's good to do this. Had a couple of laps backwards and forwards, and uh, really just shows how closely paired these things are. Really enjoyed this. I was tempted to put some more tow in into the back of the car to get some more mechanical drive out of it, but that probably would have rolled with a straight line speed. It's really just me needing to learn the cars and the tracks. Because they're that closely paired, and if you, uh, you don't quite get it right, or you stuff a corner up, or you lose two tenths on it just then, you just don't get it back. Um, but it's really good. And the next thing is, we have a really, really good prize giving. It's awesome to be proper prize giving on proper steps in Champagne. It's just really, really good. But again, thanks to everyone. Really enjoyed Sydney. Look forward to Phillip Island. Okay, fantastic weekend. Good racing, good weather. Cars are nice and straight to go home. That's excellent. Uh, our DSO, Cole Osborne, wanted me to mention to you all that you did a fantastic job. And all the guys upstairs are very happy with us. Uh, come on
massive shout out to Damo at DC Autos. I'm so grateful for all the work he does. Dead set, best mechanic I know. Chris and the guys at Shockworks for getting the package on the Skyline sorted. Frankie at Not Scared Fab for all the work. Roll cage stuff. Steve at MSC Turbos in New Zealand for getting that whole set sorted for the Skyline. The guys at Hyperdrive for keeping all the things ticking along. Shane at Behind the Sport for just keeping things really, really fun. Chris and the Culture 24-7 team just for getting me fit and enjoying life. And of course, Lux Performance for all your good gear. Thank you to everyone, it helps me out.